What's going on YouTube? KOD Foot here, bringing you another episode of KOD Foot Talks. Before we get started into today's video, I gotta plug it. The Scuff360 giveaway video link is in the description. Please go like, comment, subscribe, share that video wherever you can. Let's get the controller going. Once we hit 250 subs, we're gonna pick a random commenter from the comment section on that video, and they will win that scuff. So we want to give it away. Somebody wants to win it. Let's get that video shared. Let's hit 250 subs and get it going. But let's go ahead and get started into today's topic. Today, I figured I'd talk a little bit about beards. Now, those that know me in person or know me well, even just from the internet, know that I'm very passionate about my beard. I've been growing it for years, off and on. I've always had a different variation of some sort of facial hair, whether it be just the goatee. I couldn't do just the mustache because I feel like I'd look like a pedophile. Um, I'd always have like the mutton chops going or the, the sideburns going in or I'd have a full beard going. But I've never been to a barber shop to get it taken care of. You know, I've always trimmed it myself, which I always end up fucking it up. And that's why I stayed with the goatee for a while. But ever since I started growing the full beard, I, I most of the time would just let it go and let it do what it did and go wild. I'd comb it and I'd, you know, wash it and shit like that. But as far as, you know, trimming it and getting rid of dead ends and stuff, I, I was always afraid to go to a barber I don't know. I, well, I won't say that I was afraid to. I just always thought that I could do it myself. And now, having went to a barber for the first time recently, yeah, I couldn't do that shit myself. Uh, big shout out to KOD Raw. Uh, he's actually the barber that I went to. Real life job. Shit, we've all got him. That's what he does. And dude's a fucking magician. He, he is a wizard when it comes to working with clippers and working with scissors. I was relaxed, I was comfortable, I thought he was going to troll me, honestly, uh, and, and fuck something up on purpose, but he didn't, he took care of me, and I've, I'm feeling good, this shit looks good, looks nice and professional, I got a new venture that I'm going to be interviewing for, I guess you could say, just in case the boss is watching for whatever reason, um, so I wanted to look professional so I could go to the interview and, and hopefully make a good impression. But I didn't want to lose the full beard. You know, my beard is who I am. That's that's just who I am. I've shaved fully, fully shaved one time in probably the past seven years. And that was last September. I shaved for my niece Angel. She's six years old and is battling leukemia. And I wanted to do a fundraiser for her. So I put my beard on the line. Said that if we reached over $5,000. That I would shave my beard and my head. And we surpassed that goal by a lot. And when we hit the goal. I stepped up. KOD Redbeard stepped up. KOD Chronic stepped up. We all shaved our beards. We all shaved our heads. But it was for a great cause. So I, I have no regrets for about it whatsoever. Um, but it gives me a date. You know, the when you start growing a beard, I don't know if everybody's like this, but at least with me, I want to keep track of how long I've been growing it so I could kind of get an idea of what length I get for what time frame. And so far, it's been about 154 days, give or take a day. And I was trying to go for the full year of not cutting my hair, not trimming my beard. But like I said, I had the interview coming up. I wanted to make sure that I looked... But, you know, as, as professional as I could without losing the beard. So I, I went and got it trimmed, and I couldn't be happier with it, honestly. You know, so now it's back to just oiling it. And, you know, a lot of people think that people that grow beards are just lazy. That That's a big misconception, is that a guy that grows a beard, he's just too lazy to shave. No, I'm not too lazy to shave. I'm too much of a man to shave. I grow a beard that's what men fucking do it's in my genes to be able to grow a beard and if i couldn't grow a beard then i'd shave you know the little patches of shit that i get but it's in my genes i'm able to grow a full fucking beard it looks pretty fucking beastly so i'm gonna keep growing it and i'm gonna keep it trimmed up or let it grow wild i don't know depending on my mood i'm a, i take better care of my beard than you probably take care of your body I now and I take shit care of my body, but I, I take a lot of care about my beard. I don't know why. It's just something that I've always been passionate about is growing my beard. I've always liked me better with a beard. 
I might put a picture up in the video, I'm not sure, of when I fully shaved. I look like I was strung out on fucking dope, I didn't like it. But, anyway, this video is getting ready to wrap up. Leave a like and comment below, let me know what topic you want to hear me talk about next. I will be talking about cats coming up, I will be talking about racism. So make sure you stay tuned for them. And until next time, I'm Coyote Foot. Later.